What's up? Look, say hello to the people. Say hello. Okay, guys, this is I'm in my dark room again. This is my dog George. You've seen him on uh, a print of him on an earlier video, but I'm not going to be doing nothing with George. He's just in my dark room because he doesn't want to be alone in the house. So uh, I'm going to put him down on the floor and get on with this video. Okay, so a little while ago, I did a video on a portrait where I use Vaseline to kind of manipulate the print. I'm going to try it again. This time, I'm going to be using baby oil and I'm going to be using Vegemite <laughs> you know I've got two separate pieces of glass here one's going to have the baby oil on one's going to have the Vegemite on my wife is kind of wondering why I'm bringing baby oil and, and Vaseline and, and whatnot into the into the dark room but never mind so um, let's get straight on I'll just show you what I'm doing we'll start with the baby oil first and uh, if you see over here, the first thing we'll try is the baby oil. It's just normal. I'm not advertising Johnson's, by the way. <laughs> we'll just drip some baby oil onto the plate. Like so. And then I'm going to use a, a cotton bud. Okay, just to start smudging around. And it's almost like... Um, wet plate photography when you pour the collodion on just gonna rub it over the top like so and give it a good generous okay so now the baby oil has been applied and now I'm gonna wipe just start wiping it away from the middle area because this is where the portraits uh, the models faces so I don't want so much going on there I kind of want to get her face a bit sharper than the rest of the image. So I'm now going to put this under the enlarger the normal way on top of the red filter like we did last time. If you haven't, I, I did show a full video on this last time, so you'd have to watch that one to see what I'm doing on this one. Um, but I'm going to slide this under the enlarger now on top of the red filter that sits underneath the enlarger lens. And now we'll turn the enlarger on. The negative is already in the carrier, so I'm going to turn the enlarger on project the image onto the um, baseboard here and uh, and then start moving the glass plate around until I've got kind of the effect that I want. So let's have a quick look at the baseboard. Okay, so I've turned the enlarger on and I'm starting to now look at the uh, the image being projected onto the easel. Um, the idea is to try and get the face as clean as possible with the rest of the image being blurred and it kind of blends in. So I'm just going to move the glass slide across until I can kind of see the face a bit better. That's looking, oh okay. You can see that. Let's move it down. Uh, about there I've got the eyes. It's important to get the eyes is important for me anyway I think I'm about I'm about there okay so I'm going to leave the glass plate there and do a print and show you what we come up with okay so this is the first print that I did with uh, no filters it's six second um, um, projection a six, or a six second exposure okay and then I put the glass plate in and just developed another one and this is what the baby oil has done to the print you can see here the hands it's kind of I've got the eyes like I said I wanted to keep the focus on the eyes uh, it's made the con the uh, print less contrasty as this one is the hands everything's sharp and here it kind of just all blurs I'm going to do another print and see if I can get some more contrast in it so let's see what happens this time okay so uh, just to recap that was the original uh, test strip if you like without any baby oil on, so push that to one, actually leave it there and uh, this was the second print I did um, it, these are both six seconds uh, this one's got the baby oil on but the contrast, the baby oil kind of killed the contrast still got the, the focus in the eyes which is what I was after, just this area and the rest of the image is blurring nicely just around the edges but yeah it's uh, not enough contrast so this time I put a contrast 5 filter in 
and uh, I did a burst for 12 seconds on the enlarger with the baby oil and that's what we ended up with so you can see I've got it's nice here and then the baby oil just starts to blend everything her hand and it's, it's actually a nice portrait she's a brilliant model to work with this lady and uh, this is a nice portrait of her and I think using using the technique with the baby or just blending everything through and keeping her eyes and her face in focus has, um, has worked out well. So that's what baby oil can do for a, an image let's, or print. Let's um, see what the Vegemite can do. I should imagine the Australian, any Australian viewers will love this one. Or maybe not, it's a waste of Vegemite. So let's um, spread some Vegemite onto the plate here and see what we come up with. So remember, I want to, I want to keep this area kind of free because I think that's where the head's going to be so I'll just start spreading it around I'm sure a few comments will say what it looks like but <laughs> I'm now going to put this under the enlarger and see uh, how much of the face we can recover by that little tiny piece there just see it glimmering in the light if I can get it there okay so I've, I've just placed the Vegemite plate inside on top of the field on top of the uh, well underneath the lens just trying to trying to find a clean point for the eyes and the face which is about there uh, the aperture is at f 2.8 so I'm going to need to put it back down to f11 let's do a Put a bit of paper in and see how we get on with that. Okay, into the developer. Okay, lights on. Let's have a look at this print. Just turn the ISO down a little bit. It's, uh, Okay, yeah, Vegemite, really weird. Uh, <laughs> it's completely. F As, let's, let's take it out. Let's take it out of fix. Put it in the wash and put it on the side and have a look. Okay, so you can see uh, with the Vegemite, <laughs> with the Vegemite on the print, uh, it's the the contrast is is a lot lower. It's not higher at all compared to the baby oil, and it's really fogged out the rest of. The rest of the printer. Obviously, we kept the face because that's where we was intending what we was intended to do. But yeah, it's interesting just to try new things and play around and 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 what have you. Um, don't like that at all, really, though. But I do like the baby oil. I think between the two, let's pull the camera back. The baby oil is definitely the winner for uh, being creative on a on a on a portrait. And I'm just going to now print one more and show you what the original portrait looks like under the enlarger with no messing around. Let's have a look. So this is the Vegemite print. <laughs> this is the baby oil. And this one is the normal print with no uh, glass plate or any plan around with underneath. That's definitely a no-no, putting that to one side. But let's look at these two. I do like this because it's just drawing my attention to the face and nothing else, the hands. It's kind of just blurred out and lost here and I like the way that it feathers the um, this piece of clothing that she's wearing over her shoulders, this shawl. And also the hat as well. So yeah, there you go, just something else different. And there's uh, just one more thing that I wanna try on a portrait, something I made, which is this here, this is a a roll of sellotape with a photographic tube cap wedged into the top and just a pair of tights. Something I haven't tried before. I've tried it obviously on a lens, on a camera, but I haven't tried it on the enlarger. So I'm going to try that right now. I'm going to do the same print with this underneath and just see if it can soften or how it softens uh, a portrait. So let's try the tights. Get the tights, put the projector on. I'm just going to hold the. You won't, no, it won't fit on there. I'm just going to hold it. 
just underneath the lens, as close as I can to the lens. Try not to touch the enlarger because it will move and I'll get an out of focus image. Okay, let's uh, print that and see what results we've got with the tights. This was the original print that I did with uh, contrast 5 filter, 12 seconds and no glass filter or baby oil. This print was exactly the same exposure times with the baby oil as we've already explained. And what I did this time was just put a pair of tights underneath the lens. And we come out with this print. It's a lot lighter and it's definitely softer. Let's just uh, put them all together and compare them. Wow, yeah, you can see her face is completely lost contrast that, that this image has and certainly this one. And it is a lot softer, which is quite complimentary to a female portrait. So you know what? I'm thinking next time I enlarge, or next time I bring a portrait into the dark room, I'm possibly going to go with the baby oil and the softness. In fact, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to do, I'm going to combine these two prints. I'm going to put the tights and the baby oil together and see what sort of image we come up with. So this is baby oil, this is the tights, and this is baby oil and the tights. So a lot less contrasty, but this one is definitely more kind of out of focus. Between the three, I like the baby oil and the tights. This is a bit a bit too... Um, mind you, I couldn't get the tights as close to the lens as this one, so that's possibly what it was. Because I had the glass plate, I had to bring the um, tights down a bit more. So whether that made any difference, I don't know. There you go, look, there's the tights over the, over the lens itself. See what it does to the contrast. Okay, so that was just a brief video on softening portraits in the dark room. I suppose one other thing that ladies don't like when they have their portraits is is is, is shadows and when they're smiling, they've got they've got crease marks and stuff like that. And you know, using a pair of tights or or, or some baby oil, or in my last video we used Vaseline. Um, I wouldn't recommend the Vegemite. I don't think that did much. That did much but i thought i'd give it a go anyway um yeah so the tights and the baby oil either one kind of, kind of worked well for softening softening portraits in in the dark room so i hope you found that video interesting please don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks very much to everyone that um, takes interest in, in what i'm doing in the dark room thanks a lot guys